What's going on everybody? Welcome to Maypole. Well, welcome back to Maypole. We did a tour on this map uh last week, I think. Anyways, uh so I've done a few things. Uh the money is set to pound. Uh and we have 400,000 pound. So I went through and I traded out a few pieces of equipment. You can see one piece right there. And uh, put a couple of extra tractors and stuff like that around and all of that. Uh, so we're going to start right here. I got rid of the truck. And we're going to do a quick little overview of what we have. So we have this guy. The lizard pickup. Very nice. I can put bales and stuff in there. And then if we go... Let's just... Let's just, let's follow the roadway here. And go this way. See if I can get everything. Uh, loop around to that other side over there. So right here we have our Scania truck with a curtain side trailer. All painted up blue and nice. And then from here we're going to come down here. And take a look at what we have here. So I have the round bale collector, uh, bale loader. I have an auto load Brantner uh, flatbed trailer. I have the man water tank, which liquids. It can, it can take pretty much any liquid, uh, but we'll primarily be using it for uh, water and possibly fuel if we need to. Maybe milk as well. Uh, we have a little Kubota uh, work uh, sidekick just uh, if I need to move something around quickly over here I've swapped out the balers with the pottinger uh, uh, round bale with the wrap on it we have our plow back here we have a coon uh, round bale uh, baler this is for the stuff that we don't want wrapped and then right here we have our attachments, our front loader attachments for the Kubota tractors. Now these can be used for any tractor with a front loader, so I just have them sitting here. And then we have our bale spike because I'm going to be loading bales into these uh, bulk storage places. And over here we still have the stone picker. We still have this little guy. Well, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to use this for, but we'll find something to to use. I uh, moved one of the weights over to here. Right here we have the M6 Kubota tractor. And let's go let's go this way. So I've swapped out the uh, spreaders. I have one right here. Both of these could do lime and fertilizer. This is for the more smaller fields because it's shorter and easier to maneuver around. So uh, this is the lizard mod. And then we have the Amazon right here, which is the modded Amazon that has the larger capacity and you can change the colors. So I went ahead and changed the colors to just a gray and orange kind of mixture. And this will be for the bigger fields. And then we have a cedar. We should be okay to use this on all of the fields. If not, I can always get a bigger one uh, for the bigger fields. But uh, this right here I think will be a good mid-size uh, cedar and we can do fertilizer in this as well so from here let's go over here and we have a class tractor with a front loader attachment this is the which one is this this is the Arion 6 uh, Arion 660 uh, with the front loader attachment so from here let's go around this way we're going to try not to miss anything. So right here we have a Fent. And this is the 314 Vario. And back here we have the front loader attachment for it. And then we have the M8 Kubota tractor. Uh, we'll be using this for uh, some of the smaller fields as well as these. And just kind of, you know, all, all these tractors can be kind of universally used for just about anything. Uh, except for a couple of things that require higher horsepower. And I'll show you the tractor I have for that. So, 
from there, let's go over here. Uh, I kept the grass roller. I moved the mowers over here. I decided to keep these because they're they're a pretty good size, and I think they'll be okay for the small and big fields. Uh, we still have the same tether back there for hay. And then right here, we uh, moved our windrow right over here. Uh, so this is kind of like our grass care area right here. Uh, so from there, let's uh, let's see. If we go around, there's really... It's kind of weird to get to this area over here, but... Okay, over here, there's our fuel tank. There's a little cut through right here. Over here, we have our wheel loader. There was a wheel loader sitting here, the class wheel loader. It's over there now. I put a, went and bought a bucket, and I just put our silage fork right there. Or manure fork, I think. Uh, decided to keep the Pottinger uh, loader. I may upgrade that to a bigger one eventually, but I think uh, keeping a smaller one will be easier to get around in the uh, tight areas in the fields and around the farm. Uh, over here, we have our grain track, uh, a grain trailer, which is the Roland uh, Roll Speed 6332. And I went ahead and maxed it out with the capacity. And wheel loader, same as it was before, just uh, parked it over here. And over here to the last little bit of equipment, we have a Roland uh, manure spreader. This is the Roll Max 8735 the manure spreader uh, we are going to be doing manure and all of that uh, manure and slurry and then the last little bit of equipment is right behind us here this is the big setup right here we have the Fent and this is the 1050 Vario uh, it's got like 500 something horsepower something like that yeah something like that but then we have the Flegel uh, slurry tank and sprayer and all of that right here so pretty good variety of equipment to start off this big farm right here and uh i, th I think the first thing we're gonna do is probably get some chickens and some cows so we're gonna hold off on the cows uh until we get some fields going for food uh we also need to I just thought about this. I need to put down a uh, TMR mixer station. So we'll put that down somewhere. That's going to cost a little bit of money. So if we go into construction, that's going to cut into our starting money. I always end up forgetting stuff. Uh, so let's see. If we go to productions and factories, and I believe it's towards the end here. Yep. Okay, TMR Mixing Station. Uh, this is going to cost $30,000. It's not too bad. But I honestly, I don't know where we can put this. I don't know. Because, like, it overlaps with everything in here. I could always probably go ahead and... I wonder if I can delete those fences... Those stone walls here. I don't want to mess anything up, so let's... Okay, so it does not look like I can customize. I think there's a way to get rid of everything, like bushes and everything. But I don't want to do that. I want to leave all of that. I was just going to, you know, modify it a little bit. And uh, it's possibly because I think this is attached to the cow. Yeah, so the cows can kind of roam out here, I believe. So maybe that's why we can't do that. But we need to find a spot for the TMR mixing station. So I will have to figure that out once we get some fields and stuff going. And But for now, we're going to jump into chickens. So let's go up to the uh, front of the farm here. So we follow the roadway down. We go this way. We should be able to get to the chickens right here. Yes, chicken coop. So this is where all the chickens are going to be. So I think... How many... We can hold 600 chickens. Now, we, I don't think we need that 
much. What is the difference between this and... Okay, so this is six months. So I'm thinking if we go with zero month, we could probably get the most bang for our buck. Uh, gestation period, two months. Puberty, six months. Uh, chicken produce eggs. Yep, we already know. So we're looking at five pound per chicken. Or we go with the 50. We also are going to need a rooster. So I'm thinking if we, how many can we, we can get 60 chickens at a time. So let's go ahead and buy 60 chickens. And then we'll buy 40 more. Let's go 40 more. That'll give us 100 chickens to start off with. Okay, so we have our chickens. And there they are. Uh, oh, we also need a rooster. So let's, let's, um, let's go back into here and let's get a rooster. And we don't need 40 roosters. So let's, uh, let's do that. So transport, blah, 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 rooster. Okay, so I don't think it really matters, like, one rooster per. Maybe it does. If you know, let me know in the comments. But I think one rooster should be good. So we'll go ahead and do that. Actually, I don't even really think it matters, to be honest, but... <laughs> so, alright. Now, with that, we need to get some chicken feed. And if we go into here, and let's check out the animals menu. Right here. So, for the chickens, we just need food. So, we need to get some chicken feed or some kind of a grain... Uh, so we'll go down to the store and probably go ahead and pick up some, uh, pick up some feed for the chickens. So in order to do that, I'm thinking maybe we take, I think maybe I'll do big bags and, uh, you know, I, I want to put the big bag production in here so we can make our own big bags, uh, and set up a little feeding station. So I'll have to add that in next time. And we'll do it that way. But for now. What we can do. Is we can take. We can actually take our Scania. And we'll go ahead and drop the. Trailer right there. And I'm going to attempt to do a lot of first-person stuff in this series. We'll see how it goes. But actually, I, I don't think this Scania has the ability to attach to... ...trailers like this. I was thinking of the, the, the man. The uh, base game man. Yeah, so this isn't going to work. That's unfortunate. I wanted to drive the Scania. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll go grab our uh, probably get, grab our big class tractor with the 500 some odd horsepower, the uh, 1050. That way we can get down to the store quickly. So we'll just uh, hook that back up to the trailer, get that parked there. So if we go over here, we'll get to our tractor. I think we should be okay to use this. So we'll drop that, and then hop into first person here. Oh, let me actually drop that first. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're going the wrong way. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Uh, we'll cut the rear. And then we should be right here where the trailer is. Alright, so let's get backed up to this trailer. There we go. Alright, now this has that extra pivot point on it, which is going to kind of 
be a pain to back up, so I think I'm gonna find somewhere where I can just like pull forward park this trailer. Um, and actually, I'm just thinking about this getting it in to feed the chickens might be a little bit of a pain. I may need to let's reset that because I was setting up the farm. I may need to actually get a different trailer, so. I don't know what possessed me to get this trailer in the first place. Uh, I want a uh, I want one of the auto load trailers. So if I come into here and I go to do 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 this guy right here would be good. Then I got all these. These are pretty big for this map. Uh, then you have these, which I think it loads as a fill type. So I don't want those trailers. And then, I'm thinking this one right here, if we go to bail trailer, auto loading, yeah, auto loading on, and then we do this, okay, and I cannot change the color of this, I kind of, I could have swore I could change the color, is there another one that I'm just not seeing? This one right here. This is the one. So if we go to bales, we'll go to just go BKT tires, and then we'll change this to a onyx black, and probably go with the same kind of color scheme we had on the other trailer, something like that, maybe. And then we'll change the tag by that. That'll be at the store. And then we will do another one and buy that. We'll do two of those for now and then I'll take this trailer up to the store to sell it. Now I need to find where the store is at. So if we come into here, store is right there. So if we come out, make a, make a right turn down to the intersection, make a left. And the store is down that way. So I'm going to get down to the store real quick, you guys. And I'll get the chicken feed and swap out these trailers and everything. And I will be back with you when we get back to the farm. All right. We are back at the farm with the chicken feed. And we're unloading everything into the uh, feed right now. Feed tank. So let's get backed up and get these last two unloaded here. I don't know exactly how much chicken feed this is going to take. But we shall see. Uh, so, okay, that took all of the feed on that trailer. So, let's take a look at our animals here. And see where we're at on the feed. Okay, so that put me at 10,000 liters about halfway. So, two trailer fulls. So, that's what, 8, 10, so 20 uh, big bags will fill this chicken uh, feed. So... Let's go ahead and get this parked out of the way. Right about there should be good. And then we will get turned around and get this other trailer hooked up here. Probably could have parked that in a better spot. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll get spend around here. Spend? Spend? Is that a word? Well, spend money. Spun around. Oh, sweet butter biscuits. There we go. Yeah, I definitely parked that other trailer in a bad spot. Uh, and I'm backing this up really bad. Okay, there we go. This should work right here. There we go, now we're working. Alright, so... We'll get this unloaded. And probably, I don't know where we're going to park these trailers. Maybe park them in the place that we had them before, so I'll back them in one at a time, but I'll do that off camera. 
because nobody wants to watch that. There we go. That last one in there should have 20,000 liters of chicken feed. All right, there we go. Let's double check. We are at, oh, 19,999. Come on. Really? What is that? That's garbage. All right. Uh, so we have 100 chickens and a rooster, and we are good to go on the food so we can let them go and do what they need to do. And from here, I can go ahead and hook up this other trailer turn. Thank you. And we'll uh, get this parked up back around the other side. Now, I did uh, disable traffic because I am going to be putting some auto drive courses in. Uh, like I do, much like I do on the other maps that I play. So let's see if we can get this, if we can make this tight turn here. This tractor does not have very good turning radius. Oh, sweet, sweet Caroline. Oh. All right, looks like we're going to go out this way and turn around. And then come back in. See, this is what I was talking about in that last uh, the tour episode. <laughs> it's gonna be, this is gonna be a really a struggle for me to drive around on these tight roads with these fences and stone walls and stuff. I love it. I don't think the poles have collisions. They do not. So we are gonna drive right through that pole as if it was not there. It's just a figment of your imagination. Oh, okay. Get back on the road on the road there we go thank you now let's get these uh, trailers parked and I will bring you guys back in when we move on to the next part alright we are back and we are gonna go ahead and start plowing some of these fields that uh, that are saying they need to be plowed so we're just going to go ahead and get started right away on that. And let's get this lined up. There we go. We'll go ahead and get these plowed and then we'll go ahead and pick up the stones as well. Definitely glad I decided to go with this plow instead of the traditional plow because... I'll be honest with you, those, those, you know, like a real plow, those things are just a real pain to operate, so, yeah, probably won't be using those ever again. So this field won't take but a couple of minutes here, it's quite a small field here. All right, and then we'll double check that the plowed state is good. I think I may get rid of a tree right there. Yeah, I think so. Get out here and let's, we don't have a chainsaw, so let's go into the store here. Pick us up a chainsaw, just go with this one. And there we go. Super strength on, and boom. There we go. Turn super strength off. All right. Now we're good to go. Now we're cooking with uh, cooking with, uh, with with Crisco. That's what I was trying to think of. I messed that up. Anyways. <laughs> We are just about done already with this field. Doesn't take very long at all. Very nice. I gotta say, I, I absolutely love the way this map is laid out. Uh, typically, I play the US based maps, but uh, I'm starting to kind of get out of my comfort zone and try some of these European based maps so like this one is Ireland there's a couple of UK maps that I want to give a shot 
there is a map that I am looking at installing that I think I am going to be doing a little something something on. So stay tuned for that. Not going to give out any names of the map or anything like that. It's a secret. So and a surprise. All right, one more pass after this, and that'll do it for this field. There we go. Hey, pick up the plow. Thank you. Well, this tractor really does not like to turn. All right. Get this last strip right here. All right, that is the first field plowed. Now I think we have about three or four more fields to plow, but I'm gonna do that off camera, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back in after we are done with all of that. So give me just a second, and I'll be right back with you. All right, we are back, and we got the fields all plowed that needed to be plowed, and the tractor just finished the other field over there. I had it on a course play, so now I'm running guided steering over here, GPS picking up the stones. I got the stones out of the other fields, uh, except for, let's see, I think it was 84 and 85, right? I think 85 was the other one. Uh, so 84, 85, and 66. We are getting the stones out of. We're going to do 68 next. Just uh, brought you back in here real quick for a quick update on what's going on here. Let's get this thing turned around. Come on. There we go. All right. Get the guided steering on, and let's go ahead and drop this thing down. There we go. So, yeah, things are coming together pretty quickly here. Go to the outside here, take a look. Doing uh, skipping rows. So yeah, that field over there, and then the small field that we did, that we plowed first, those are already done. So we got to do 68 after this. And I'll show you what I'm doing with the stones here as soon as I'm full. And this might take a little bit to get full. Because uh, these stones are actually kind of scattered throughout the field, which is a good thing. So, yeah, there we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and get the guided steering on since we're in line. Go ahead and drop this down and turn on the cruise control. So, uh, yeah, I'll get these fields done real quick. And actually, I'll bring you back. Uh, I may get full on this field. So if I fill up on this field, I'll bring you back in real quick to show you where I'm putting the stones. And, uh, yeah, then I'll bring you guys back in. All right, we are filled up, and I just realized I went the wrong way to get back to the farm, but that's okay. We can take this road right here. And this is actually taking us into this field, so let's actually cut through here. I do still have the GPS active. Uh, because I did not get to the last bit on uh, on that field over there so we'll have to go back and finish that up we'll get up here to the edge of this field probably yeah we should be able to go around like this and we'll probably just go ahead and cut through a hedge because uh yeah all right let's slow it down so we can see all right we're coming through and there's a tree. Let me sort this out real quick. Okay, so I got out of that mess, so ended up in this field. So we'll come out that gate and just make sure we close it. There we go. All right, so what I've been doing with the stones is I have these bulk storage places 
and the ones towards the front I just don't see using them that often right now so I'm dumping the stones into there and you can see the dog running around in there right now so yeah this front one is where I've been dumping them into so just pull in straight and you can just barely see the little pile I already have back there move out of the way dog So just right in here, and then I've been force dumping it. And then whenever I need it, I can just pick it up with the uh, front loader and go from there. Alright, so that is that. And I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the stones in uh, the, the fields and bring you guys back in whenever I'm finished. All right, we got the stones all picked up in the fields. Got this tractor brought back up here. So one thing I need to do, actually, real quick, is I can actually I can go ahead and turn off the beacons in that one. But I just realized I don't have a wash station at all anywhere. Not not that I can see at least. I didn't see any. So I think what I'll do is probably go into construction here and see if we can find a good place to put down a wash bay. Now this right here, what is this? This is a bunker silo. Okay. So we have a bunker silo there. Do we have another bunker? We do have a bunker silo up here as well. So we could probably get rid of one of them this one right here maybe and then maybe uh, squeeze in a wash station right here that's what I'm thinking let's uh cuz I, I don't really think we're gonna need two bunker silos I could be wrong but, oh god, oops, I clicked off of my screen. <laughs> I think this right here, let's go ahead and get rid of this. We're going to get 70,000 pound off of that. Yep, let's go ahead and sell that. And then we will put a wash station area right in here. So if we go into tools, we have this one that we can stick in here we also have where is it uh, we have this one that we could put in there and then we have this that we could put in here now this might be a good one to might be a good one to run I'm thinking maybe we could just stick this right here up against the building and then we can kind of come in wash and then loop around and may get rid of some trees right there but yeah I think I'm, I'm thinking right here is a good spot for it right there and then I can come in and get rid of some trees real quick So we're actually over our start money already. Alright, so we come in. It's a tight fit. We come in, and we can make a little loop right here. So if I was... Or or we could just back stuff up into here. Which is... Oh, that I don't need a chainsaw. What am I doing? Which is always an option. So in that case, I could actually get rid of it and bring it back and set it back up against this... Into this corner all the way... That'll give us a little bit of room to play with as far as backing things up. The only concern I have is headers. So if I get a header trailer that has that extra pivot point, there's just no way I'm going to be able to back that up into here to wash a header. And you can't just pull a header forward. Right now you can. You can pull a header straight into here, but navigating through the farm with a header on your harvester is just not ideal. So it would have to be on a trailer. So, I think backing things in 
Or actually, I think what we have... I don't need a chainsaw. What am I doing? I think... I think what we have is good. And now we need the chainsaw. So let's, uh... Let's go ahead and get rid of this tree. And we'll go ahead and get rid of this tree. And let's see, what did that do for us? That's pretty good right there. So we can get rid of that, turn super strength off. And then let's back up here. And then come into construction. And let's paint this stuff up. Now what do we have down as far as texture right now? Is it this one? Yes. Looks like that is the correcto one. I don't know why I just said correcto. So we'll blend that in right there. We'll put some little decorative item stuff right there. So if we come with this right here, and then let's see, we pull forward and get stuff on there and then pull out right about in here. So maybe right here. We're going to have a little loop around. Like so. That way we can kind of, you know, turn things around a little, little easier. Then from right here, what we can do is apparently not get rid of that grass right there. That's alright, so we'll just leave that where it's at right there. Clean that up just a little bit. And then, we can come in with some animal mud. And just put it right there, make it look like, you know, there's some water mud runoff. Uh, we don't really have much for options on terrain paint at all in this one. So, I think that's going to be good right there. And then we want to come in with some decorations. So, I'm thinking a light back here would be good to start with. Maybe something like this. Uh, the only thing is it's not dark, so I can't really see if it's going to illuminate the area good or not. I could always put this right here. So I think I'll, I'll hold off on that until nighttime. Uh, so as far as decorations go, we could come in with um, maybe a little building like this for some decoration. Maybe stick it right back into here. What is that colliding with? So it may be colliding with that tree right there. So if I come into about right there, that would be a good spot for it. Then we need to come in and smooth some stuff out here. Don't know if it's going to do much good at all really if any yeah it's smoothed it out it's smoothed it out pretty good that should be good right there and then we'll just come back into decorations and see what else we can find here uh, so there is one thing that I want to get into possibly and that is this Christmas tree stuff I haven't messed with that just yet so We'll have to see what we can do as far as that goes. This actually would have been a nice little shed right here. You could actually open it up, and it's a lot smaller. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And then let's, uh... Let's just stick that right there. Then we'll come back in. Smooth out this land a little bit. Uh, just make sure that's all good. It looks good. Okay, and then we can just put some grass and stuff around it. Just to clean it up a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer. If I can see through the trees to get this little spot back here. Nice. Okay. So we got a little garden shed back there. 
and then take a quick little look through here real quick and see what we have actually I'll, I'll do all this I'll do all this later I'll do all this so we have a wash base so now we can we can wash our equipment off so let's go ahead and do that real quick let's just uh let's go back into the inside camera here see if we can back up through this Yeah, this is actually this is actually a nice little area. <clears throat> like I said, we'll put we'll put some you know decorations and stuff in there, just to kind of fill it out a little bit. Let's see if we can get all this stuff cleaned up. Come on, there we go. So we got all the plowing done. We got all the stones picked up. We got some chickens. We'll double check their feed over there, which it hasn't even been a full month yet, so we'll we should be perfectly fine on that. So we'll put that away. And then uh bring this out of the way so we can wash up our other one. We'll just park that for right now. I'll park all this stuff off camera. So yeah, here we go. So now we can pull in about right there. We should be able to get both the tractor and the implement. Yeah, this works out perfect. Put this thing to good use today. I've actually only ever used this one other time in FS22 that I can think of. And I just, I haven't used it. So, I don't know, I just, I never really concerned myself with stones, even though I always have them turned on. I just never bother picking them up. I mean, they're kind of almost useless, but I'm going to do line production, I think, on this one. I haven't done that before, so I think I'll do the line production so we'll have all the stones in our bulk storage area that we can just pick up when we need to produce some more stone. Now, I'm not going to worry about doing that anytime soon, I, I don't think. Uh, simply because we, we just... We don't have enough stone to really concern ourselves with the stone... Or with the limestone production, so... And there's the other weight. I was looking for that earlier. So let's see if we can get this thing backed in... This is a tight little area. But I think we got it. We got it just perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and drop that right there. And then the this is the M8, so the M8 gets parked over here. Now the parking spots and stuff are probably going to change eventually, but uh, yeah, this is this is just the beginning, just the beginning of this series. So far, I am absolutely loving this map, having a blast with it so far. So uh, yeah, that is actually going to do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Feel free to comment down below with any tips, tricks, and suggestions, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.